Question five. So, water meter or no water meter? So, let's work out the cost of the water meter. So, we need to know, first of all, we're told how much it's going to be. Now, it tells us that Henry uses 180 litres of water each day. So, let's think about that over the course of a year. So, 180 litres multiplied by 365. So, if we do that calculation, remember you've got your calculator. So, 65,700. So, that's litres per year. Okay. All right. So, we've got that. Now, we need to think we've got how many cubic meters that's going to be. So 65,700 liters and then if we divide that by a thousand that will tell us because one cubic meter is a thousand liters. So if we divide that by a thousand that tells me how many cubic meters we got. So that's 65.7. So that's cubic meters. There we are. Let's put that there. Right. Okay. We know that it's going to be 91.22 pence for every cubic meter. So let's do 65. Now this is something to be a little bit careful of here because actually I'm going to change that 91.22 pence to pounds because everything else is in pounds. I've got pounds, pounds. So let's change it to pounds. So I've got 0 0.9122. And then if I work that out, that gives me 59.93. Now I can round that to the nearest penny, that's okay. So we've got 59.93. Now what do we need to do? We need to add the standing charge. So even if we didn't use anything at all, it's still going to charge us £28.20. If we work that out and those two together, that's going to be 88. Remember, you're doing this on your calculator 13. Now, which is best? Okay, we've got this one that's the water meter, and this is no water meter. So, use the information to determine whether or not Henry should have a water meter. Um, well, it depends if you want to pay less or not. So we can say 88.13 is less than 107. So based on that information, yes, water meter, please. Why would you pay more?